is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it is day two of Christy's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches, 10. So amazing. So today's sketch was made by Crafty Maggie. <clears throat> so it is an absolutely beautiful sketch. Now, when I first saw this sketch, I was like, um, I think that there is a cut file out there that has like this frame with these beautiful florals. So I'll probably go grab that. Well, I have learned that I can scrap in the morning as long as I don't have to be the early person at work. And um, I'm fairly productive. So I have started scrapbooking in the morning before work. And that being said, I don't have a ton of time. Um, so being that it's day two, I decided, you know what, I'm going to do something different. I am not going to go with my initial thought. So instead, I am going to just basically frame my layout. So I started with a piece of white cardstock and I am going to put this beautiful ombre purple uh, paper from... <clears throat> Pink Fresh Studios from Indigo Hills 2 called Eminence. And I'm going to trim that down and put that in the center. So crazy enough, most of the time when I frame my layout or do a border, um, I tend to use colored cardstock or pattern paper for the actual frame and then use the white cardstock in the middle. So I decided to flip-flop that. And I really like the effect that, that that gives. Now, normally I probably wouldn't have uh, gutted my white pattern or my white cardstock in the background. <clears throat> but again, with a time Instead of going and looking for a piece of scrap white cardstock, I just gutted it. And that way I could map my photo with that white cardstock. So my photo was actually taken by my husband. Totally stole his phone and uh, stole this picture. Yep, I did that. Um, and it is sitting on our back deck. You can see his, his cute little toes and um, this beautiful purple sunset. So I knew this paper was exactly what I wanted. So basically I have the frame. Um, I'm only doing one photo instead of the two in the sketch, but I am going to add this cut apart piece that says, love you always. So that could kind of go for the second photo if you wanted. And then I am gonna work basically on those two floral clusters that you see in the sketch. So I pulled out my Pink Fresh supplies and I pulled out any of the florals that were black and white or um, kind of in that purpley tone. Now I did find a cool frame that had that ombre purple and I did pull a rainbow um, there's no rainbow, but the top three colors are, are awesome. And so I went with it. Um, it brings in two little colors that, that are nowhere else, but I don't think it's too distracting or it draws your eye close to a place that you don't want. So, so I'm going to work on those clusters and those leaves actually are, um, a cut file from cut to you and I love them. So there's a couple of cut files that I feel like I need to have cut kind of all the time and just a little bit ready to go. Um, one is leaves and one is florals. So you can cut them out in white and then you can ink them or in my case, I'm leaving them white, but you could ink them, you could paint them. Um, I've dipped them in shimmers, loved, loved, loved that effect. Um, but it's kind of something good just to have on hand because you always, well, I usually need a floral or a leaf at some point. Um, 
these purple ones that I have here were actually fussy cut from a pattern paper, which they're not completely fussy cut, but they're fussy cut enough and they are the perfect purple. So I have made those clusters. Um, I do have um, a banner piece that says family time is the best time down there at the bottom. And then at the top, I have a little like postage stamp, but I didn't want it to look totally like a postage stamp with, you know, the, the money amount on it. So I added a little ephemera piece that says more of this. And then I went off screen, glued everything down, added my title, and I'm going to finish it off with some splatters of Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine which I am almost out of. So <laughs> there is that. So that is my take on day two's sketch. I hope you like it. Um, make sure you check out everybody down below They um, and see what their take is on it. I'm curious if somebody does a cut file. <laughs> That's what I'm curious about. So um, if you have any questions, I'd love to chat with you or just chatting. Chatting is always good. So remember to wear your crown and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.